Hi, I'm Marcy with Earth Sky. The Super Hunter's Moon for 2024 will fall at 626 a.m. Central Daylight Time on October 17th. On that night, all of us on Earth will see the Super Hunter's Moon rising in the east around sunset. It'll shine in front of the dim constellation Pisces of Fishes. The bright Super Hunter's Moon is the closest super moon in 2024, so it will appear brighter than the average full moon. In fact, it will be the brightest full moon of the year. This is the Northern Hemisphere's Hunter's Moon, the full moon after the Harvest Moon, which is the full moon closest to our autumnal equinox. Why the name Hunter's Moon? The bright light of the full moon and almost full moons will let hunters, getting ready for a long winter, hunt into the evening hours. On average, the moon rises about 50 minutes later each day, but the hunter's moon in the northern hemisphere rises about 30 minutes later each day. So you'll see a bright round moon for several nights around October 17th. The reason is that the ecliptic, which more or less marks the path the moon travels across the sky, makes a narrow angle with the evening horizon around the time of the autumnal equinox. For those in the southern hemisphere, your super full moon will rise later each day than average. Your hunter's moon is around the March equinox. And why does the hunter's moon appear orange? When you're looking at the moon near the horizon, you're looking through a greater thickness of Earth's atmosphere, so shorter wavelengths scatter away, leaving behind the longer red shades. And what about high tides during the super hunter's moon? Since the full moon is closer than normal, you can expect higher than usual tides for a few days following the Super Hunter's Moon. So remember on October 17th to go out and enjoy the brightest super moon of 2024.